Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be talking about an application called iWeb. It is a program which allows you to create websites. I'm also going to be showing you how to host it over the web for free. Now to do this, you click on Applications and click on iWeb. As you can see, it is the program I've used to make my website, iMovieMac.tk. I rarely do like this application. So to create a new website, you click on the blue part of the interface here right click and click on new site. You're then presented with a list of themes you can choose. So I'm going to click use the theme modern. Once you've selected the theme you then pick your starting page. So we're going to use welcome for the first page of the website. Select it, click choose. It then brings us to the page. I'm going to explain a few features about the page. At the top here you can see it says welcome this is a button. As you create more web pages, more buttons will appear across the top to take you to those pages. So you just leave them as they are. You've then got an image here. Now to change images is really easy. You don't have to delete them or anything, you just drag an image over. So I've got an image of an Apple logo here. I'm just going to simply drag and drop them over. Edit mask is how far you want to zoom in. So you can zoom in a lot or you can zoom out. So I quite like that there. You've then got this title here. If you double click on any text, you can select it and change it. So I'm going to type in something different. Hello. If you select the text like that, then click on the color section here. You can change the color of the text. So I'm going to select red. As you can see, it has changed. You can move text and images, anything around the page by clicking once and then dragging as you can see there. I've then got this bulk of text here. I can double click on that and type something else into it if I want. Hello and welcome to the website. Now if I want to move that, I can. If you want to create another web, pair, web page, you right click where there again on the below and you click new page. You're then prompted to pick another type of page, a different template. So I'm going to pick about me. So you click on it and it makes the page. Notice here at the top another button has uh, been placed there. And you can um, drag another image here to change it. So I'm going to drag my iMovie logo there. Looks quite nice. But this text here is in the way. So I'm going to select that and move it down a bit. You can see here there are lists. You can edit that by double clicking on them. And here there are a photo album. You can add photo albums by drop, dragging and dropping uh, lists of photos there. So I'm going to drag this small little icon here. As you can see there. If I want to edit the mask again, make it bigger or smaller, I can do that. There we go. If I want to create a blog, we click right click there and click new page and we see blog. As you can see we've now been taken to the blog page. The actual page blog is the main page. As you can see there another picture if you want to change that drag something in I move you back again. Now you don't really need to do much to this page as it kind of depends on the other pages. By clicking on entries here people who go on your website will not see the page entries that is for your use only. When you want to add a new page to a blog, you click on the Add Entry. As you can see here, Entry 1, if you want to change the title of that. So I can change it to iMovie Mac and click Enter. If we go back to the blog page, which is the page everyone will see, you can see a new entry of blog has been added. If you want to edit the um, blogs, you go back to your Entries page and you can edit them all from there just like the other pages by dragging images and editing the text etc. The archives page now what this is it just gives a list of all the blogs you can get to the archives by going to blog and go to archives but you can't edit that unless you are the creator of the website okay if you want to add say movies to your website go back to the, the uh, blue space here and click new page. 
you can see there we have a movie section so we'll choose that again it works a lot like all the other pages you can add a movie here by simply dragging a movie file over and you can play it on the website As you can see there iMovie Mac this is going to be released soon this video um, you, there's actually another way to get a video onto your web page by dragging this little widget at the side here, YouTube on. This embeds a video. You are prompted to add in the URL of your video. To get the URL, just go onto any uh, YouTube video and at the top of the page, dry, uh, copy the URL and paste it in there. Paste the URL in and click apply the video is now embedded on the website. You can also add other pages by going to the, through the normal route of new page and a blank page if you like. Here you're free to add whatever you like, say a counter, you can change that, or a Google map, or a photo gallery, another video maybe. If you use Google AdSense you can add that on here and pretty much you can add a lot of um, widgets and things to your website. Um, now, to host the website online, you can use the application called Dropbox. Now, you can get Dropbox from this website, dropbox.com, download button here. Okay, to uh, publish your site to the internet, you're going to need to do a few things first. As an example, I'm going to use my iMovieMac.tk website. So first of all, you make sure you've got the local folder chosen here in the publishing section. You then need to make a folder, so you click choose and you create a folder on your desktop called whatever you want to call it. I've called mine iMovie Mac site. Once you've done that, click file and save. After you've done that, you click file and then you click publish entire site. So as you can see there, it's publishing the site to the iMovie Mac site folder. If we minimize that now, we can see the folders here. If we double click on that, we can see three files. The only two files we're interested in is the folder and the index. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to open our Dropbox um, desktop application. It's usually up here in the uh, little menu bar at the top and open Dropbox folder. As you can see here, this is the Dropbox. We've got a public folder here. If you double click on that, you can see this is the public folder. Now, to host your site online, you want to copy these two folders, the iMovie Mac folder and the index.html file into the public folder. If we give them a minute to upload to Dropbox, it shouldn't take too long because the site isn't that big, depending on how many images and videos you've got on them. Okay, the next thing we need to do is to uh, get the URL for our website. So if we right click index, hover over the Dropbox and copy public link. Now if we go to the internet we want to go to the website dot dot tk. So basically what you want to do is you want to register to this website it will give you the opportunity to paste the long Dropbox URL in and it will let you change it to something else like um, iMovieMac.tk okay so if you want to update your website you go back to your iWeb uh, website you then click file and publish entire site you'll notice after you've published the entire site it will reappear two folders the iMac folder and the index file will reappear back in your site folder which is on your desktop you then just go to your Dropbox folder delete them, move them to the trash, and then you just recopy them back in. You don't have to relink anything, it will all work. So then when you go onto the internet and you type in your .tk site, the updated version will be already there instantly. So that's all you need to do. So that's pretty much it. Contact me if you have any problems or questions. Um, rate and subscribe and I'll see you next time.